Okay everyone, I'm walking to my favorite spot. So today I'm gonna talk about the pollution in Laos right now. If you watch my previous video, previous previous video, I did mention about you know when should you come to Laos, and this is the season, uh, it's burning season. As you can see, the air quality here is pretty bad. Uh, sorry, let me just get away from this first. Quite a lot of people, a lot of Chinese tourists in town, which is good. Uh, Yeah, well, it's really bad for the air quality because of the burning season. When you check at the air quality, Luang Prabang is quite healthy level. So if you are in town or if you plan to come to Luang Prabang from today onward until uh, end of May, please do consider bringing some masks. You can barely see the scenery because of the smoke and it's getting worse and worse. But once we have rain, you know, some rain, it will be clear everything out. So let's hope that we, we have rain in the next few days or a week. Ah, that's too sad. This is Nam Khan River and the bamboo bridge is gone. Usually it will still be here until end of June. However, there is an erosion project coming out that's gonna happen so they're gonna build the how can I still um, they're gonna build the wall like it's to protect from 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 landslide uh, on the other side so the, the bridge has to be taken out mm. usually it's right here so it's kind of quite early it is here yeah only boat so if you were to cross the other side you can use this service the boat i don't know how much they charge on the other side there's a nice restaurant called yen sabai and then just right next to it there is beautiful uh jewelry shop my friend owns it and yeah it's, it's nice i'm not sure if you can see the old bridge over there and and because of the smoke you just can't see anything usually you will get you, you will see beautiful those mountains from far away but now you just can't see it it's so bad hmm. anyway look at what we have done to our beautiful country okay so the Lao government has announced the long public holiday in April uh, we're gonna celebrate the Lao New Year festival usually it takes only five three to five days but this year is gonna be much longer and there are a lot of activities going on especially here in Lumpur Bang. so if you are coming to Laos during those time you know from the 11th until 20th of April please do prepare it's gonna be very wild uh, it's, it's, it, it's very similar to Songkran in Thailand where people throw lots of water at you it's hot and sticky at the same time it can be cold because people keep throwing water at you and it's kind of fun you know you can buy a how can I say, water gun that you can just play around and you know play with a lot of children it's kind of cool and they're there's gonna be a lot of things going on on the main street, uh, mainly on the main street, so a lot of parades. The main big parades will happen, will take place on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. So yeah, if you were to come this time of year, like I said, bring the mask and be prepared for the for the noise. There's gonna be a lot of party and music and you know a lot of things going on. I won't be here though. I mean, I used to like it a lot, but maybe because I'm getting older. I think it's a little bit too much for me <laughs> you know all this water and music and everything anyway well welcome to laos and if you are here during the pmi lao or lao new year please enjoy your time okay let's just walk up to the main street and see what's happening there this day i mean now it's falling into low season but we still have quite a lot of tourists thank goodness um, we need it so it keeps uh, local business going and more and more people are coming back to town after the pandemic so that's a good sign so this is the main street Sisawang Wong many things gonna happen on this street during the Lao New Year so the parade will be from down there all the way up to the peninsula up there where Wat Siang Tong Temple is so if you come to your Luang Prabang during the festival make sure you come here on this main street 
And every morning at 5 o'clock, there will be a um, skipping ceremony on this street as well. And you might not like it because it's so crowded. A lot of tourists. This house is put on sales and they asked for $1 million. That's quite a lot in Laos. So more and more businesses have reopened. Back then, like every door, you know, opened for different kinds of business, mostly cafe and restaurant. But this one is now a gallery. Mm. It reminds me of Hoi An. Very similar uh, feeling. Okay. Okay, we're walking to Night Market to see people uh, sitting at the stalls. Oh, this place back then used to be a tour company where I used to work for many years. Now it has... Oh, still a tour company but different. Asia, my way. Back then it was Tiger Trail. Yeah, this is where I grew my confidence in my career. You know, after I left the temple, I was very shy, very quiet. But then I got a job here. That's when I woke up. I mean, I got yelled by many customers because I was so quiet. They're like, they're not very happy with my service. They're like, you know, just punch the table. And that's when I, I was like, okay, I need to kick myself a little bit and you know, be more proactive and be a little bit more confident, which I do. And this is me today. So yeah, back then I was very shy, very quiet. Yeah, the stalls are setting up and from 4.30 to 9.30 then this street is going to be night market. So this is the Prabang Hall. So in case you don't know, Prabang is the sacred Buddha that was given by the Kingdom of Cambodia in 16th century, if I remember it right. And that's when this town got its name from that Buddha statue, a Luang Prabang. Luang means huge, so Prabang is the name of the, the Buddha statue. And it's very sacred, it's all in gold, so they kept him in here. And then uh, after New Year, uh, two days after the New Year, they will take him from here and parade him all the way down to Wat Mai Temple, which is down there. And then people will come and water him. This time of the day is now it's 4 30. People would go up to the top of the Posi Mountain usually to enjoy the sunset. And I think some people are going up there. But because of the weather, because of the smoke, I don't think there are many people going up there. You, they won't get to see the sunset anyway. As you can see up there. I mean, you still can see it, but it's just very, very gloomy. Luang Prabang, my beautiful town. Mm -hmm.
Anyway, there's one more thing that I like to warn you if you're in Laos this time of year, especially those who are adventurers, you know, those who love outdoor activities like trekking. Uh, if you're planning on doing some trek by yourself or on your own, please don't. Uh, please make sure that you have local guides or somebody who knows the area go with you or at least assist you. Why? Well, because it's the burning season. So yesterday what happened in the north of Laos in Odom Sai province was a tragic incident. So two people got themselves burned to death. So what happened was, you know, these two guys went for hunting and they ended up, you know, in the middle of somebody else's uh, landfill that is being clear and ready to be burned. So the owner didn't know that there was somebody there. So he just burned the field. And what happened is that two people got stuck inside and couldn't get out and then got themselves burned to death. And that's very sad. So uh, it happens a lot. Uh, so yeah, if you were planning on doing some trek, please do make sure to have somebody with you, especially uh, the local people who know the place. Yep, well, take care and stay hydrated.